briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1991 case, Hoffer v. Mello, the Supreme Court of the United States examined whether state officials can be held personally liable for damages under federal law, even if they were acting in their official capacity. The case arose when Barbara Hafer, a candidate for Auditor General of Pennsylvania, dismissed 18 employees, including James Mello Jr., who were accused of buying their jobs. Mello and seven other employees sued Hafer for monetary damages, while the remaining respondents claimed Hafer dismissed them due to their political affiliation. The cases were consolidated and initially dismissed by the district court, which reasoned that Hoffer could not be held liable for employment decisions made in her official capacity. However, the Supreme Court rejected this interpretation, stating that state officials can be held personally liable under Section 1983 if sued in their individual capacities. Ultimately, the court upheld the decision of the Court of Appeals and stated that concerns about personal liability impacting state officers' public duties should be addressed within personal immunity jurisprudence. Justice Thomas did not participate in the case. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.